literally someone who's made hundreds of millions suing companies is scared of an $18 robot lawyer. Um, they're scared because uh, robots are going to replace them. Chat GPT and all of these technologies are so good that you don't have to pay a lawyer, so you can just use something that's free or very cheap. As Joshua Broder on the show last night, he's being sued over his artificial intelligence app called Do Not Pay. As he described, it's a robot lawyer, if you will. Appeal parking tickets in any city, cancel any services like cable or your cell phone, sue anyone in small claims court, annul my marriage, voter registration, automatically cancel your free trials, clean your credit report, request medical records. The app says it helps you do anything from appealing parking tickets to the like. A lawsuit against the company claims do not pay is merely a website with a repository of unfortunately substandard legal documents that at best fills in a legal ad lib based on information input by customers. Attorney Jay Edelson is leading the suit and joins us now here. All right, so is the issue that robot lawyers are just bad at what they're doing or that they're unlicensed? Uh, so I think there's a false premise in there. Josh's company does not have a robot and it doesn't have a lawyer. Uh, Two lies for the price of one. He does. Well, that's what Josh does. The, would you use this product, by the way? <laughs> you, you wouldn't. And nobody, nobody read the Better Business Bureau reports would either. He gets one stars all across. What our suit says at its core is that he's selling junk. And what you see out of Silicon Valley, every decade or so, we have some Stanford law drop, a Stanford undergrad dropout who says we're going to disrupt some really complicated area. You've got Elizabeth Holmes, who says all these people understand healthcare, don't get it. I took two graduate level classes, I get it. She starts Theranos. Josh probably's never taken a law class in his life. He doesn't know what he's talking about. And he's just raising money. And he's, you know, I guess an adequate huckster, not even a very good one. Um, and as you know, he's got a valuation over $200 million selling complete junk. It just doesn't work. Well, to be fair, a lot of startups in the very beginning were sort of selling junk. They didn't really work. I think about a lot of the, the startups in Silicon Valley, you fake it till you make it. Yeah, those people ended up in jail. I'm not saying Josh should go to jail, but no, fake it uh, till you make it is, is the wrong idea. And especially when you're dealing with serious things like law. Well, so how, how, is this, how is this different than say, you think about the legal profession that is regulated in all 50 states, you gotta go to law school in almost all of them, then you gotta pass the bar exam, on and on. No different, say, than accountants and taxes. You've got TurboTax and you've got Quicken and everybody else doing your taxes online. TurboTax works. So there is going to be a time when the technology uh, catches up and there'll be a lot fewer lawyers, and that's a great thing. <laughs> I, I'm one of the few self-hating lawyers out there. I think there should be fewer of us. But what we don't want in the meantime is someone who says, I've got AI, and it's not AI, it's total junk. Um, and you know, just selling that to people because it does a lot of harm. That's why you wouldn't use it and why you wouldn't use any company, any of these tech companies that fakes it till they make it. All right, so th this is the complaint. Defendant committed an unlawful, unfair, fraudulent business practice by holding itself out to be an attorney to residents of the state of California when it was not uh, engaging in unlawful practice of law by selling practices on and on. And then you said that they did a, fair, a poor job. Tell us exactly what this case is about. Well, let's use an example from his Twitter today. He blocks me, but I've got a separate account from my polar bear. So my polar bear has access to his Twitter account. And what my polar bear said is, on his Twitter, he showed how, with he says, a one-click lawsuit. So if you got a spam text message or a phone call, he can have a, a lawsuit filed that day. And he actually showed this on YouTube or something, showed what the, what the technology would do. He really was just using ChatGPT. And if you actually read the complaint, if you know anything about law, it's a total mess. He gets everything wrong. He doesn't understand the facts. He doesn't understand the law. That, that is what is at its core, which is that he is offering legal services that are junk. And that's why the law is heavily regulated. All right, uh, this is him responding and what he had you said ab about you. Take a listen. Yes. Facebook might pay him $600 million last year, but we're not going to pay him anything. We've done nothing wrong. We deny the allegations and we're going to fight in court. Ultimately, Americans deserve to have access to the law and technology is really good at um, providing that. And that's what Do Not Pay does as a robot lawyer. 
Yeah, so first it was 650 million, not 600. Second, <laughs> second um, Facebook said the same thing when we sued them. They said, oh, we're gonna fight, we're not gonna be bullied by Jay. And they did fight really hard and, and you know, we had some success and they wrote a pretty big check. Uh, I don't want him to be bullied by me at all. You know, I'm sure that if, if he's gonna mount a good defense. Now he said on social media, he was gonna use his robot lawyer. Do you know what he ended up doing? Hired a law firm. Wilson Sunsidi, for him, he's gonna hire the Harvard trained lawyer. For all of his, his customers, mm -hmm. they get this awful tech. Thanks for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.